it's strong, it's nasty, because when I know it smells chemically, man, that boy's gonna yeah. You come down, man. Pee pee tingles. You look soft, son. Women don't like you, man, son. That boy's gonna hit. Came down. Pee pee tingle scale. You look soft, son. Women don't like you, man, son. That boy's gonna hit. The negative. Pee pee tingles. The focus. Emotion. Women don't like you, man, son. That boy's gonna hit. The positive. Pee pee tingle scale. The focus. This I command you to get high. That boy's gonna hit. Go on Bumble, go on Hinge, go on Twitter, go on j Swipe, go on j Dick, go on... What up, what up? It's Garage Jim, homie, baby. And today, man, homie, today I'm reviewing Condemned Labs. Souls for Sale pre-workout. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out all the dang time for you, man. So click subscribe and let's get into this, man. God bless all you homies. I hope you're feeling amazing. You deserve the gifts in life. Living from your heart, staying out of your head where it's noisy, man. Don't go up in here by yourself. I'm up in here, man. I'm up in here too dang much, man. I gotta get back down into here. You know, um, just to give you a little backstory about uh, Condemned Labs and GGA, we have a tumultuous relationship, man. I swear from the bottom of my heart, I wish the fine folks at Condemned Labs nothing but love, blessings, and success, man. I've reviewed their Arson Fat Burner, and I also reviewed their, uh, I forgot what their pre-workout was, Convict or something like that, uh, and I didn't give them favorable reviews, man, and I was not, I swear, man, all I do is take the pills or take the drink and come on and share my no schlong shining experience, man. I'm not, I'm always looking to show love wherever I can. The pre-workout, I felt, I think I felt some DMHA, I remember, it was a long, it was a few years back. And, uh, but I just did not have a, a very good experience with it. And then the pills, I felt nothing, no DMHA at all, man. And I did not have a high tolerance then for, for stimulants. I mean, this was a few years ago when I started the channel. Um, so I will say, so I didn't give it a good review and, uh, you know, in all fairness, I got a lot of comments agreeing with me, and I got some comments saying it was amazing. So maybe some of the, I just, that was my experience, you know, so I don't know what, what it was, okay? Anyway, to this day, I take DMHA, you know, weekly. I feel it, it blows my head off, pee pee tingles higher than giraffe vagina, so I know what some DMHA is. So the owner reached out, man, he was pissed off, you know, and I, I apologize for causing any harm to your brand or anything. I'm never looking to cause harm. And then uh, we had an exchange of words. It wasn't very pleasant. God bless him. I shouldn't engage in anything negative. Haven't had any contact for years. I saw this come out. I was like, man, that label is sick. I reached out to Condemned Labs, <laughs> totally forgot that it was the company that I had freaking negative words with. I said, man, I see you guys got a new pre, this looks sick, uh, I'd love to review it. He responded to me, never got back to me about sending it over or whatever. So I hit up Nutri Cartel. I was like, yo man, I wanna run that Condemned Lab Souls for Sale. NutriCartel.com sent it over to me, God bless them. Uh, you could use discount code GGH15 if you want anything from them. And I heard a rumor that Condemned Labs was now manufactured, at least this pre, was by high tech. I don't know if it's true or not, not saying it's true. I heard it was produced by high tech. So I was like, man, I could freaking, I bet this has, I bet this has the goods in it because you know high tech. And uh, I was like, I could show love, maybe, uh, you know, make up for my past bad reviews to the fine folks at Condemned Labs. So Nutri Cartel sent it over, here I am running it, that's the backstory. Supplement facts, one scoop, 19.6 grams. This was a wishes brew flavor and uh, it tasted good, man. And this is a sick label, man. One of the sickest I've seen. I mean, this is a sick tub of pre-workout and uh, it's got a lot number, legit, and uh, God bless them, fully disclosed label. This is what they're, oh, so one level scoop is 19.6 grams and a level scoop to me was 21 grams. So just a little over, but that's fine. And you get 20 servings in a container. So listen to this. Pure citrulline, L-citrulline, six grams for the pumps. 
beta alanine, 3.2 gram, warm fuzzy hug, tingles, rubbed up feeling, endurance, lactic acid buffering, betaine anhydrous, 2.5 grams, power output, uh, altyrosine, 2 grams, agmatine sulfate, 1.5 grams, caffeine anhydrous, 350 milligram. Nice high stim amount there, man. Kind of not blowing your head off with the caffeine, but it's still a high amount. I like it, man. Hitter label. Aldopa, 250 milligrams. Then some CDP choline, 250 for the focus action. Two amino isoheptane, 200 milligrams. Is this that higher than giraffe vagina, high on the PP tingle scale? Fauci lab leak theory, DMHA? That Wuhan hitter, or is this that ICP, America's Most Wanted, English Walnut, UK Trash Jugglins, DMHA, man. We're going to find out right here, homie, by the PP tingle scale. Araya Gerenesis, 200 milligrams. Uh, so I like all the dosages in here, man. Uh, Subroxy, 100 milligrams, GGH back on the oxys, the Subroxys, homie. Them blue hitters, uh, whole coffee bean extract, 100 milligrams. Sinephrine, 60 milligrams, that's for the, uh, oh, so they're giving you co uh, Cognatic, Focus, uh, 100 milligrams, trademark name. Uh, Sinephrine, heart rate action, fat burning properties, some thermogenic, some uh, more stimulation, 60 milligrams. Then Alpha, yo, man, 1.5 milligrams. Yo, Himbine, 1.5 milligrams, and Astrogen, 50 milligrams. What a label, homie. This is a, quite a stim blend where they're giving you a bunch of stims but they're all dosed really well where they're not like out of your mind. It's not like, it's like 200 a ride. It's like all the good dosages. So it's not overdoing it. So look, man, I took the drink. I, this is, as I said, man, look, you got to like see this, man. This is really some nice marketing. So I'm going to say this. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is what I'm going to say about this, homie. I took the drink. I came down to the dance floor. It was time for some serious iron pumping. So I come down, and the first thing I feel, homie, was some beta alanine. Beta alanine. Nice, strong beta tingles, man. Felt really nice sense of urgency. And then the energy came in pretty strong, man. This was a very, uh, I, this was a high energy pre-workout, to be honest, man. This was, a, this had a kick to it, you know. And I just want to say this, man, just going into the experience, I, I got to be true to myself, homie. I always got to stay true to myself because if I'm not, man, I'm living in fear. I hate to do this again. I felt everything in this pre-workout, like everything on this label except the two amino. I felt no pee, pee tingles, no two amino, no DMHA in here at all, man. This was not a DMHA pre-workout. <laughs> I, again, condemned labs. God bless you. I'm sorry to do this. I'm not sorry, but I, man, I wish nothing but love to you. I really feel bad. When I heard this was, I, what can I say, man? I did not feel any DMHA in here. Having said that, it was a good freaking pre-workout, man. I had a great training session. I felt driven. I felt high energy. Definitely felt like more of an alpha yo based pre workout than anything. I had that alpha yo nootropic feeling in my head. The heart rate was up the whole time. The endurance was good. My strength was good. I felt awake, alert. I wouldn't say mood elevation at all, more serious actually. The alpha yo kind of put me in a serious iron pumping state of mind. The pumps on it were solid. I had nice vascularity. It just did not live up. You see, anytime you see two amino on a pre-workout, let me just say this. Two amino should be the star of the show, in my opinion. You know, if you see two amino, you're taking it because you want the DMHA experience. You want the freaking illicit feeling, illicit focus. You want to leave with the buzz. You want the DMHA experience. This didn't offer that at all. I, I'm sorry, this did not offer that at all. It freaking was a high energy, high end daily driver feeling with that kind of stim junkie alpha yo vibe. And it felt like a couple milligrams of alpha yo, honestly. The alpha yo was stronger than I thought it would be. I either looked at this, I was like, man, I'm gonna feel some of that good high tech DMHA. If this is manufactured by high, I might have bad intel. If this is, then if it's not, forgive me. But, uh, you know, 
And then I looked at some other, I looked at one other review on YouTube I found, the same experience, it just said it was a, a good daily. Um, this did not have any stim junkie illicit reminiscence in it, man. So again, this is just my straight up review and I hate to do this not only to condemn lab, but Nutricartel sent it over and I'm sure this ain't gonna help sell it. So uh, it was a solid experience, but it fell short thinking I was gonna have a DMHA pre-workout. That's what I got for you, man. I mean, Garage Gym Homie's always gonna give it to you straight till the end of days. I mean, I would love to take some Condemn Lab stuff and give it a freaking fire review, homie. GGH, always here to show love when I can. Solid pumps, solid beta alanine, high energy, hit the dang like button. Uh, it felt like everything on the freaking label except the two amino, which was what I was really hoping for. God bless all you together. I, I feel, my heart hurts when I have to do this, man. God bless all of you. Together, let's get this dang muscle. I'm out.